At Russia's legendary Bolshoi Theater, dancers are returning to the stage, trying to recover from an attack on their artistic director. Someone threw acid on his face last week. The incident has led several insiders to speak out about Russia's so-called ballet wars. And as our Europe bureau chief Sean Mallon reports, the police have now interviewed a principal dancer in connection with the case. Behind the grace, athleticism and artistry of the Bolshoi Ballet, there lurks a dark and dangerous side. The company invited international journalists to film a dress rehearsal in an attempt to demonstrate the show goes on, but so too does a police investigation. This is how artistic director Sergei Filin looked before last week before someone threw acid in his face. It was related to my work, he said in a hospital room interview. Doctors are scrambling to try to save his eyesight. And now, in another stunning turn, police are interviewing a star dancer for the company, Nikolai Tsiskardidze, in connection with the attack. He denies responsibility. Whoever assaulted Filin, fierce artistic rivalries are suspected as the motive, and they are not new at Russia's iconic ballet company. What's happened recently is that several directors have suffered terrible threats from individual um, fanatics, really, who are uh, dead set against modern ideas coming in from the West. A former Bolshoi dancer says it's a reflection of Russian society and tells of sharp objects being slipped into her toe shoes by someone seeking to sabotage her performance. I think last 10 years, Borsha Theatre became not a beautiful theatre, not a beautiful fairy tale. It became like uh, outrage, criminalism and corruption. Threats are not unique to Russian ballet. The head of Moscow's Gogol Theatre complained that someone sent a message online saying, if you don't get out, you're next. And a St. Petersburg director says he was recently roughed up at gunpoint by three masked men. I was beaten up before for my art, but never in my life was I threatened with a gun. The whole situation is getting more and more tense. The Bolshoi has appointed an acting artistic director while Filin recovers from his injuries and while police continue to interview members of the company. Sean Mallon, Global News, London.